All right, I want to take a second and talk about finding the surface area of various prisms. Now, first off, before we even get started, you have to know what surface area is. Surface area is actually saying, what is the area of all the surfaces on a prism? So think painting all the sides of a box or wrapping a box, something like that, or taking how much cardboard does it take to create a cereal box? Um, those kind of ideas. So anything where we're trying to find the total amount of surface area or the total area of all the surfaces put together. Now there's an easy way to do this using a pretty simple formula and that's that our surface area is equal to 2 times capital B which is the area of the base plus the perimeter of the base which we show with capital P times H. So again out to the side real quick, um, we need to make a note that capital B is area of the base and the capital P is perimeter um, of the base. So the perimeter of the base. Okay, These are two things. Now big B we've seen before when we worked with volume, but big P is a little bit differently. So first thing I need to do over here is I'm going to look at finding the area of my bases. Well, my bases are my triangles. So I'm going to go rewrite this formula out so I can see all the stuff I'm going to need. I'm going to have 2 times 1 half base times height plus my perimeter. I need to clear off some space over here on the side. Plus my perimeter, which I'm just going to add all the sides. I'm going to say stealing a little bit from Pythagorean theorem, a plus b plus c times the height. Okay, so here's my full setup, and this is going to work for my triangle. The beauty of this formula is that it's going to work for different shapes too. The only thing that's going to change is how you find the area of the base or how you find the perimeter. So let's go ahead and get to work here. Well, I have two times one half. Now to find the base and height, I notice that this is a right triangle over here um, with that right angle, so that means that eight and six are my base and height. So I need one half of eight times six plus eight plus six plus ten times the height. And remember the height, um, if we're looking back from our volume, the height is the distance that connects my two bases together. So I'm going to be multiplying that times fifteen. So now when I look in here, uh, I'm going to do, let's see, 1 half of 8 is 4, and 4 times 6 is 24, plus 8 plus 6 plus 10 is going to give me a total of 24 times 15. So now I just have a couple more simple steps to finish off. Um, I know that 24 times 15, if I type that in real quick, that's going to give me 360 degrees, not 360 degrees, but 360, and I need 2 times 24, which is going to give me 48. So when I add these together, I have a total surface area of 408 inches squared. That means if I wanted to come and paint this triangular prism, or if I wanted to make a box that was this size, this is how much paint or how much cardboard I would need to cover in total surface area.